Hello, it's Tim from Fairplay now on the 7th of October 2024. So, have you missed me? I thought I'd uh, make a quick video today just to check in with everybody. And first of all, I want to just see if you can guess where I am. Uh, it's very much like Hyde Park. You know, big park here with some water in the middle of it. Uh, and you can come here, just chill out. But it's not Hyde Park in London. Uh, it's a little bit too warm for that, uh, I've got to say. And you don't exactly get uh, palm trees in the background in Hyde Park either. And you certainly don't get these locals who I've been hobnobbing at with. Uh, they're called monitor lizards. I'm here in central Bangkok, Thailand at the moment, uh, just finishing up what can be described as a grand tour of the Far East. Uh, I've been to four countries, uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and also Indonesia, Bali in Indonesia to be precise. Uh, decided really to just up sticks and take off for uh, six weeks. The rain came out and joined me for part of it. Uh, actually, before I continue, I don't know what you think of the, uh, the hat there. Uh, you can make the you can get these things made up, should I say, uh, pretty inexpensively. Uh, I think this cost about a tenner, to, including having the Stitch logo on there, and the hat as well, that included. And it seems to be quite a good quality hat, actually. Uh, you know, but uh, I'll leave that off because it's a bit too hot here for uh, hats, and I'm not in the sun, so all's good. But uh, yeah, Lorraine came out and joined me for uh, about um, three and a half of the uh, six weeks that I've been away and uh, she's back home now and yeah uh, before I went away I was a little bit cagey I said I wasn't going to be doing much in the way of videos had to be a little bit cagey uh, for I think you have to be a little bit security conscious when you're on uh, social media uh, you get some of these uh, YouTubers, etc. who say, oh, look at me, I'm sort of away for many weeks in wherever, the other side of the world. And uh, you do wonder about the security aspect. But uh, Lorraine's at home and there's other people staying there uh, with her at the moment. So, and I'll be going back in the next uh, few days myself. So, yeah, just finishing up here in uh, Bangkok. Had a little look around this place, Lumpini Park it's called. I'm going to be making my way to the river and uh, seeing the temples, um, palaces. There's a lot of fantastic things to see. I started off in Bangkok and I already went to a place called Wat Pai, which is just super, very majestic, uh, before going on to the other countries. And then um, last few nights here in Bangkok as well, because that's where I flew into and flying out of as well, back to Europe and the UK. But uh, yeah, so that is what I've been doing. I've got a lot of insights. Uh, I've had a lot of different experiences, fantastic experiences actually, many, many, many of them. And uh, hopefully a few more to come before uh, sort of going home in a couple of days time. Uh, but uh, all I can say from a freedom point of view is uh, you know, if you want to get away, you're thinking, oh, what happens if they try any nonsense again? Uh, well, you've got to take a risk in life. And it was a risk. Um, you know, if, if they brought all the nonsense back and said, oh, yeah, you've got to wear uh, muzzles on planes and all that sort of thing again, I would have just refused. and. Heaven knows what the consequences would have been. So, you know, it's a, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a risk, but uh, you know, you just got to go for these things if you want to do it. And is it extravagant uh, being away for six weeks and uh, going to all these different countries, all sorts of different flights? Uh, I'll have been on seven, seven different flights by the time I get home. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is extravagant, but there again, um, I haven't really been away properly uh, for five years. Yes, I had a little trip over to Amsterdam last year. Yes, I've been on a few camping trips 
few little cycling trips, a few filming trips for uh, freedom stuff where I had to stay away a night or two. Uh, I've done stuff like that, but uh, getting properly away, I haven't done it for five years, so I regard this as five years worth of uh, holidays and trips rolled into one really and uh, I'm not going to apologise to anyone for doing this uh, it's what I wanted to, to do it's what I wanted to go and see I think going out and seeing different cultures and uh, different peoples is very important as well and also I know again there's people in the freedom movement who say well you know uh, I don't want to go away I don't want to risk it I don't want to uh, uh, you know, go through their system to get passports and all of that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, that's almost kind of playing into the hands of the powers that shouldn't be, who don't want you to travel, I feel. Uh, I think the best way of uh, sticking two fingers up at them is to just go out and do what you want in life, really, whether that's just uh, going for um, a little drive out to the countryside few miles from your local town in England or the UK uh, or wh wherever you live or whether it's traveling to the other side of the world you know just go and do it just just be you just do what you want to do and uh, you know just stick two fingers up at the powers that shouldn't be and their uh, their nonsense uh, also I just think it's so good to get away from all the freedom stuff uh, for a few weeks uh, I was certainly feeling very very frazzled indeed uh, I just felt I had to get totally away uh, and just to chill out go and do some something totally different uh, don't worry I will be back uh, properly from about mid-October onwards uh, but uh, might not be to quite the extent as I was before, uh, but I'll certainly be doing a couple of, you know, two, maybe three videos a week, so you can look forward to that from, I don't know, about the 15th of uh, October onwards. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd check in and uh, tell you what I've been up to. Um, I've, like I say, I've got a lot of insights uh, from visiting these places. Uh, some of them uh, so it might not be the best option from a freedom point of view. Others, uh, you know, other places from a freedom point of view, even though they've got kind of globalist dictated governments, uh, if you get out into the backwaters, uh, it's hard to see how the arms and tentacles, shall I say, of the powers that shouldn't be would ever get to some of these places that I've been to because they're just so kind of out in the backwoods and uh, you know far from the reach of authority and people just seem to do what they want to do really uh, also I would say judging from the amount of people I've seen traveling m number of tourists in these places I've been to uh, whether it's Bangkok's Kok, whether it's the other places uh, like Kuala Lumpur I was in a couple of days ago and uh, Singapore etc etc uh, so many tourists around in the airports you know what have you it's hard to see really how all those people are going to be stopped from traveling yes they fell for the uh, lurgy nonsense but uh, i'm getting the feeling that that was a once in a lifetime once in a generation thing and the powers that sh shouldn't be, I don't think they're going to be able to get away with it again. People are out there, they're enjoying it, they think the whole sort of lurgy thing is in the past now, and I don't, oh, I, this might be wishful thinking as well, but uh, I, who knows, but uh, I've got a feeling people wouldn't put up with that a second time in their lifetimes really, certainly not for a second time in the same decade, uh, for sure. Anyway, uh, just a few thoughts there. Um, I'm going to just enjoy the last few days here, uh, soaking up the uh, tropical warmth. Uh, it is a sweaty old business sort of um, wandering around these places, but uh, kind of used to the heat now. Um, absolutely love it. Certainly prefer it to the cold that I'll be going back to and the damp and the grey and the 
drizzle and the miser miserable sort of weather that I'll be going back to. But uh, this won't be the last of my travels, I tell you. I'm going to be doing this sort of thing again. Maybe not for quite as long, but I'll be doing it again next year for sure. So anyway, uh, I've rambled on long enough. I um, hope I've given you a bit of an update on uh, what's been going on. And um, I'm going to leave it there. And I'll be back properly in a few days' time. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching.